It's game time once again, Kapamilya, and welcome to the second day of our semi-finals. Sino kaya ang teams ang mag-uwi ng panalo ngayong hapon na to? Good afternoon, guys. Ako po si Marco Gumabo. There's no more room for mistakes, and each and every team has to really give their best hunger sa dulo ng season. At ano ba ang taas-taas na talaga ng excitement dito sa Mall of Asia Arena for our games today? Ako po si Janina Chan. Day diretso na kaya sa finals ang NU Bulldogs at ang De La Salle Lady Spikers, or will the Adamson Soaring Falcons and the FEU Lady Tamarals live to fight another? Another day. Ako po si Justin Quirino, and this is Upfront at the UAAP. Grabe guys, it's so good to be back. Namiss niyo ba ako? Hi Marco! Hi Marco! Ano pala yung tura ni Marco? I still exist guys. Alam niyo guys, sobrang bilib na bilib ako on how the games have turned out this season. Talaga, sobrang... Very exciting. Sobrang exciting na talaga lahat ng mga matches natin. Very, very surprising. And well, before anything else, welcome back to Marco Kumabaw. Bro edition again! Bro edition! Dahil dyan, bro's edition ulit. Pero as you said nga, sobrang daming surprises na naman. You know, especially sa ating laban kahapon kung saan panalo parehas ang, of course, men's and women's volleyball team ng Ateneo in three straight sets. So congratulations to the Ateneo Blue Eagles and the Lady Eagles. Congrats! Because of that win, that means that the men's and women's team for Ateneo are both at the finals already. Yep. And let's not forget also that they are both defending champions. The men's team, they're going for a back-to-back -back championship right now. And the women's team, three-peat mm -hmm. So whoever's going to be going up against Ateneo in the finals, good luck. Yes. <laughs> good luck. Siyempre, tuloy-tuloy ang ating final four weekend. No? For, for our first game sa men's naman tayo, it will be the NU, uh, NU Bulldogs against the Adamson Soaring Falcons. Kapag matalo naman ng Soaring Falcons, the Bulldogs will automatically advance to the finals. Yeah. So guys, abangan natin yan at 2 p.m. And of course, at 4 p.m., the De La Salle Lady Spikers are looking to cement their 8th straight finals appearance. Grabe guys, 8th straight, ha? Straight. Against the FEU Lady Tamaros. At 4 p.m. po yan, abangan natin. Ooh, very exciting ang mga matches natin today. Pero alam mo ba, it was also a roller coaster ride for these two teams, both from the men's side, who really Secured, you know, they really earned their spot to secure, um, to secure their spot. Ito yeah. pala sa ating yeah. semi-finals. Yep. <laughs> Talagang, you know, it's been a roller coaster ride for them. Pero, syempre, panoor natin kung paano nga ba ang kadalang journey dito sa semis. Let's watch this. Ibang drama sa UAP Men's Volleyball Tournament ang ating masasaksihan as the NU Bulldogs battled the Adamson Falcons. The Falcons ended the first round with an impressive 6-1 win-loss card. They even made a statement ng manalo sila against the defending champs at Tineo. I think the duo of Michael Sudaria and Nico Ramirez, the setter open spiker duo, and Coach Doming, custodio of course, yung kanyang experience bilang head coach, yun talaga nagdadala sa Adamson. But things didn't go as planned sa second round. Nawala ang chance ng Adamson para sa twice to beat advantage nang matalo sa UP. Losing four games in the second round and only winning three. I think that is a little... That is not a reflection on how good this team is. Pero a little dent on the confidence level. At yung being ready for the final four. Regain confidence at maturity ang kakailanganin ng mga Falcons. If you're not at your best in the semifinals, 
think things can slide. Up and down ang naging laro ng Bulldogs ng first round ng kompetisyon. Pero sa second round, dito na mas lumakas ang ingay ng NU. NU is a team on the rise. I thought that they underachieved in the first round. But in the second round, they showed um, what their real stuff is. Manibagong pagkakataon para kay Miguel and he gets oh, the man. Binigay kay Natividad. <laughs> ang weapon ng NU yung kanilang tangkad. They're the tallest team. Kulapnan, setting it up for Pakunas! Siyempre si Coach Dante, lagi naman yan going to the UAP, lagi may game plan. So, yun nga, nag-work for them. And ngayon, ibang-iba na yung NU. Pag kinumpare mo sila dun sa mga unang games nila, tapos yung laro nila ngayon, ibang-iba. Okay, para sa NU, and their Saraza starting to come alive. Parehong may gustong patunayan, at parehong gustong umangat. Lahat itataya para sa kanilang minimikin panalo. Pareho naman yung storya nila. Magkaiba lang in a sense na yung parang timing. Parang yung isa nag-start really strong. Pero ganun pa man, napasok pa rin sa Final Four kahit natalo towards the end. We have very tall NU team and we have a high-flying Adamson squad. I think it's, a, it's tough to call. You know what, Marco? Hindi ko alam kung sino yung mananalo maya, no. But it's important to note also that the NU Bulldogs, even if they had a slow start, nagpick naman sila at the right time, which means that they got a twice to beat advantage dito sa semis. Yes, tama ka, Justin. But unfortunately for the Adams and Soaring Falcons, they started very, very strong. Pero nakita natin na towards the end of the elimination round, medyo nagdip yung performance nila. But I'm sure naman na nakapag-adjust sila para sa para sa semis ngayon. At sa amin pagbabalik naman, mapapatud natin ang Journey ng De La Salle Lady Spikers to the Final Four. At syempre, ang aming Twitter question of the day. Lahat na yan sa pagbabalik ng Upfront at the UAAP. Lady Spikers, led by their team captain, and of course, Kim Pajardo, is definitely one tough team to beat. I mean, sino bang makakalimot sa kanilang epic round one yep, win over their yes, arch rivals, the Ateneo Lady Eagles. They definitely made a statement, di ba? Yes. Pero isa lang yan sa marami nilang mga highlights throughout their UAAB story. Pero paano nga ba sila nakarating dito sa ating semifinals this season 78? Panoorin natin to. Loads up. Bahardo to Baron. Perfect height. Determinado at asintado. Baron. Sa pamumuno ni Coach Ramil, makailang ulit na rin nakapasok sa Final Four ang Lady Spikers. Ipinakita nila ang experience at lakas sa depensa. At sa pagbabalik ng kanilang Ace Spiker. Buo na muli ang Lasal sa dominant form ni Alag Garang sa court. We're looking forward na ma-meet namin yung goal namin, ma-achieve namin, and mapagtulungan namin yung target namin. Huling final four na nila Bika, Ara at Sid. Gusto ko lang na malaman nila na naging part ako ng DLSU. Gusto ko na hindi sila tumigil mag-support lang like sa akin. Gusto ko pati sa... Next generation, sandun pa rin sila. Kaya inaasahang na mas talakas pa ang mga palo. Mas titindi ang depensa. Dahil handa silang gawin ang lahat. Sinubok man ang determinasyon at katatagan bagamat nakatikim ng pagkatalo sa NU, USD, at Ateneo sa Elimination Mount. Di naman maitatago na angat ang galing ng Lady Spikers sa offense at defense. Mas focused kami ngayon. Kailangan ma mas maganda yung exit ng bawat isang mag magtatapos this season. It's saved by Maraginot. Regalo para kay Baron. Sustain. 
getting that easy point. And that's the fifth service here. Precision. She will hit it again. That one goes on. They lead Lasalle. An eye on the target. Morado in a tambola para kay Valdez. Look at that. Ibang Lasalle ang namamayagpag. Fajardo back set para kay Kim D. Nang makaharap nila, Ateneo Lady Eagles sa round one. To Demesilio who breaks down the wall. Off the block. At tinapos ang naro in three straight sets. Outside. And Lasalle. Outside. Ends its losing streak against Ateneo. The Lasalle University. At sa paghanda nila, patungong semis, one game at a time. Sa bawat posisyon, uh, kaya-kaya nilang uh, trabahuhin yung bawat posisyon na uh, ginagalawa nila. Dahil siguradong buong tapang nilang haharapin ang lahat ng mga kalaban. Dahil misyon nila maibalik ang kampinato sa TAP. You know what, Justin? Alam naman natin yung brand of play ng Lady Spikers si Coach Ramil. Talagang hindi hindi talaga sila magpapatalo. And now that Ara Galang is back, at sure, last player niya out together with Mika Reyes and Sid Demisilio, I'm sure na talagang gusto lang ibalik yung corona sa Taft Avenue. Tama ng tama kajan Marco. And it's also very important to note that if Lasalle wins this afternoon, derecho na sila sa finals against the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Okay? Now this is going to be happening, of course, on Saturday, April 23. But before the volleyball action starts in a few, we want to know your opinions first. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our Twitter question of the day, which is, Sinong teams kaya sa tingin nyo ang mga kalaban ng Ateneo men's and women's volleyball teams sa finals at bakit? Yes, at bakit dapat may reason. <laughs> I'm sure magiging iba-iba <laughs> ang mga sagot ng ating mga viewers. And of course, ang nag-follow sa amin on our official Twitter account, which is at Upfront at UAAP. And yes, go ahead and tweet us all of your answers with that account. And don't forget to use our official hashtag, that's Upfront at UAAP S78, para mabasa namin ang lahat ng inyong mga tweets. Yes, tweet you lang kami guys and later on we will read all your answers sa show. And when we return, ay balikan naman natin ang highlights ng journey ng FU Lady Tamaraws to the Final Four. At syempre, ang UAP top place last April 9, 10, and 13. Lahat ng yan sa pagbabalik ng upfront at the UAP. of Upfront at the UAP or if you want instant access to UAP game highlights just log on to sports.abs-cban.com go to UAAP select videos select the sport and select the game highlight for previous episodes of our shows simply click on the video icon and via the ABS-CBN Sports in Action YouTube channel. Get to watch the latest episode of Upfront of the UAP for fun and inspiring features on your favorite UAP athletes. The UAAP Season 78 was the year of the comeback for this veteran playmaker. Giselle C successfully led the Lady Tamarounds back into the semifinals once again. Paano nga ba nakapasok ang kupunan ni Coach Shaq sa Final Four this Season 78? Panoorin natin to. Masasabing hindi ganun kaganda ang naging simula ng kampanya ng FU Lady Tamaraos para sa kanilang 30th UAAP Women's Volleyball title. Okay. 
pilit hinanap ng kumpunan ang tamang timpla sa loob ng court sa mga una nalang games. Pero sa uling apat na laro ng second round, bumulusok at unti-unti nang nakita ng Lady Dams ang effective combination. Una-una yung sa first round namin, napakalaki nung ano namin, yung adjustment na ginagawa, especially every game. And then yung mga nakalaban agad namin, yung mga one and two na T. Goes to Basas! Basas scores off Molde! Sobrang mahalaga yung last four games, yung last four crucial games namin. Palma, babawi! And she does! So yun, dinedigate talaga namin lahat na sabi namin all out na tayo kasi kung gusto natin makuha yung spot na number three, number three, gawin natin lahat ng best natin. Coming to, to the semis, syempre mahalaga na ma-maintain namin, then madagdagan pa. Malaking bagay rito ang pagbablek ng season 74 best setter na si Giselle C. Magiging puhunan namin yung magiging service receive. So pag nagkaroon kami ng service receive, madali na para sa akin na makagawa ng mga ano, ng mga play na magiging madali sa spike or para makapatay sa board. At sa kwento ng Moraita, may mga bagong bida ang lumutang. Siyempre, kailangan pinaghandaan din namin itong semifinals at saka kaya namin talunin. Lagi lang sinasabi ni Coach Ak na sundin lang namin yung gusto nilang paggawa. Tapos yung mga diskarte na gagawin, i-apply namin sa training. Tapos doon na namin magagawa sa game. Diba last year, fourth lang kami, tapos ngayon nasa, nasa top three na kami. Pero syempre, hindi pa rin naman yun yung gusto namin marating, hindi pa tapos yung lahat. So gusto pa namin na mas angat pa doon yung makakuha namin. Nagawa na namin na umangat, ng umaga yung goal namin, unti-unti na namin nare-reach. Tapos hindi na kami pwedeng bumitaw pa na... Sayang na naman, ganun. hindi na pwedeng next next year na lang ulit. Kailangan dito na. Ibuhos na lahat namin. Let's go, Tapanaus! Let's go! Let's go, Tapanaus! Fire! Marco Justin, hindi lang naman talaga si Giselle ang nagdadala sa ating Lady Dams dahil napakalakas ng kanilang opensa. Siyempre, andyan ang kanilang team captain na si Remy Palma na siyempre nasa middle at siyempre sa open naman andyan si Nel Bernadette Pons and Chin Batas. Yes. yes, at kahit na may twice to beat advantage ang Dela sa Lady Spikers, I'm sure na talagang pinaghandaan sila ng FEU Lady Tamaraos. No? Malay nyo, Manalo pa sila ngayong hapon na ito. <laughs> That's right. At alam mo, bago mag-start ang ating final four round, ang dami talaga natin nakita mga intense and epic na plays throughout the, the past few weeks, di ba? Sobrang dami talaga. At kaya naman, we prepared a special highlight reel featuring our games last April 9 up until April 13. So let's watch this new edition of UAAP Top Plays. Top plays. Narito na ang top 10 plays sa UAP Season 78 Women's Volleyball Tournament nung nakaraang weekend. Simulan natin sa number 10. Panoorin natin si Kim Fajardo. Will she set the ball? Who will she set it to? No! She is going for a drop ball. Kim Fajardo on the attack. Dito man sa number 9. Tinuldokan ni Mika Reyes ang laban kontra sa NU Lady Bulldogs sa kanyang service ace. Mika Reyes ends it with an exclamation point, an ace. At number 8, At sa... hindi nakalampas ang atake sa depensa ni Mean Medres. May block na nakapuntos pa. More from the Lady Spikers at number 7. Why not? Why not? Diba? Aragalang soaring and scoring for De La Salle University. Para naman sa number six, one of the most improved players game season 78, Kim D 
finishing the combination play. From green to blue. From the start of this match. Here's Giselle Tan at number 5. Binuhay ang bola ng Lady Eagles sa kanyang pancake dig straight to Joanna Mariginot for the kill. So number 4, the Taft Tower, Mika Reyes brings her team to a fifth and deciding set sa pamamagitan ng kanyang power tip kontra sa Ateneo. At number 3, umarangkada ang UP Lady Maroons patungo sa Final Four sa lamat sa game-winning spike mula kay Isa Molde. Sa number 2, Chance for you here, Biscuitado. Oh. Sa wakas, nakamit ng UE Lady Warriors ang tagumpay gamit ang isang combination play. Dana Biscuitado to Rosel Baleton for the win. Losing streak is over for the UE. At para sa ating number one play. Ateneo's ace spiker, the phenom, Eliza Valdez. The captain flying high for another clutch point contra sa kanilang arch rivals. Talaga, yung mga power spike na yan, yung mga pancake dig na tinatawag din. Alam mo, Marco and Janina, of course, I'm very, very impressed with our volleyballs, our, be our volleyballs <laughs> this season. <laughs> our you volleyballs. Know? And Dito. for sure... <laughs> Dito yung volleyballs. Ah, Dito yung volleyballs. Dito yung volleyballs. Yung volleyballs natin. For sure, mas gagaling pa yan in the seasons to come. Great assets to each of their schools. Yes, Justin. And syempre, we can see more of those plays sa ating game mamaya. But for the meantime, let's check in on our panelists for today. Anton and Kirk, what's up? Guys? Hi, guys. Hey. hey, how's it going, guys? <laughs> yeah, so Anton, I just want to ask, no, who do you think ang mga kalaban ng Ateneo, both for men and women, sa finals? Nako, Marco, napakahirap ng tanong mong yan because you're putting me on the spot, but um, uh, it's hard to make a prediction based on the statistics and what has been happening throughout the season. Pero masasabi ko lang, um, anything's possible. Pero ibabanggitin ko na lang yung paborito in each series. Siyempre, ang paborito dito sa men's ay ang NU because they're the more experienced team. And Adamson has been losing in the Final Four for the past four seasons. Gusto nila na baguhin ang kwento ngayong Season 78. Sa so women's division naman, ang paborito ang De La Salle University. They want revenge. They are hungry. But FU gave them a tough time in their second round meeting as they took La Salle to five sets. But... I see uh, the favorites in each series for the women's Nasal, so men's naman ang NU. Nice. Well, those are definitely favorites this season, and we'll be seeing you know, a few more days, uh, a few more games left to see if these predictions can come into reality. So we can't wait to find out. But for Kirk, naman, you know, you being an athlete, what do you think should be the mindset of our players today coming into this game to register a win, knowing that they'll go up against Atene in the finals? Yeah, I mean, it's a different feeling. It's different emotions here in the final four. Um, these teams, composure is a big word that coaches will often use with all the hype and the extra drama that's added to these games. Just staying composed as a team, everyone just stepping up as a leader and just uh, worrying about your roles. I mean, these teams are at top of their physical ability, their skills are all there, but just staying composed and, and worrying about the little things that they can do in each uh, set to help their teams win is, is probably the most important thing that should be on their mind right now. So stay composed and focus on your goals. Yep. Thank you so much, Thanks Kirk guys. and Thanks Anton, guys. of course. We'll see you guys in a bit. Yes, They're going to be calling the game. Our very composed panelists. Oh, <laughs> focused on their goals, of course. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, this may be the last day of the semis, especially if the NU Bulldogs and the De La Salle Lady Spikers win their games today. But if the Soaring Falcons and the Lady Tams steal a win, then we'll see you on Wednesday as they will have a rematch again, okay? And that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. This has been your exclusive source on all things great about the UAAP. This is... Up at the UAAP!